What is going on guys? JT Gilly back with another video and welcome to a very exciting adventure. We're gonna be doing something that I've never done before and I actually am not too sure exactly what's gonna be going down, but I know it's gonna be epic, so we're gonna do that. We also have to show off some pretty epic stuff as well. I have some things to finish up. It's gonna be a good one. Now today is also the final day of the Ultra Unlock Part 2 events and I'm pretty happy it's over because the spawns were really lackluster and everything that was exciting about the event was behind raids so didn't really get to grind it out didn't want to grind out this event too much but I'm glad I got lucky early on so I didn't have to spend a ton of money anyways glad that's over with and then ultra unlock part 3 starts up again this Friday it's not an insane event but I'm definitely looking forward to it I think it's gonna be pretty refreshing to see a bunch of new Pokemon from the Galarian region so before we get into the big thing let's get it every time dude. Yeah, yeah, I know, dude. Every time I'm, dude, okay, man, nobody cares. Every time I'm at this park and I do a video, that same car drives by. When, 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 we get it, dude. I'm recording. So, anyways, before we were terribly interrupted, I want to move on with the Ultra Unlock timed research because it ends in seven hours, and I want to go ahead and claim all the good stuff before it's gone. Okay, well, maybe it's not gonna be any good stuff, but let's claim all this while it's still around. And then after this, we can get to what I'm really here for. Esper, no good. We have another encounter award though. What is this gonna be? Hell Gym. Man, so we did the whole time research and there was no Heracross and no freaking, uh, no Kangaskhan. They really kept those behind raids the whole event. Oh my God, what a yikes. Come on, man. Come on, man. Anyways, down goes Eldrum right there, 573, and it also is not that good. Okay, whatever. Uh, hold on, we got some more shiny checks really quick. Bunnel Beast, still don't have that to this day. And then a Na 2, not you either. To top it all off, 20 balls, 3,000 dust, and five Ultra Balls. Gave me all of that good stuff right there. And there we go, another time research done. Listen, the time researchers are free, and they're fun. I like them but I feel like they could be a little bit better sometimes, dude, come on. So finally, let's get to what we're here for. The level 50 challenge research is finally complete. I believe this was make 500 great curveball throws, spin a Pokestop 15 days in a row, and then do something else. I don't even remember what the other one was, but it took me about two weeks and we finally got it done. Remember, I hit level 50 about two weeks ago. If you guys haven't seen that video, it's arguably the best video on the channel. It shows memories from our whole Pokemon Go adventure over the last five years and it's amazing. So check that out. But yes, I'm level 50 now. Hi, how are you? This is the last, this is our last like big accomplishment on our, on our level journey. This is the last research we'll be doing, I think. Unless there's another one behind here. I don't think there will be though. So let's go ahead and claim it all right now. We have an encounter right there. I've heard murmurs around the community. 10 star pieces. Whoa, 10 star pieces. I didn't even realize that. Oh my God. That's plug. Thank you. Probably should have popped one right there because I'm claiming 20,000 dust. But you know what? We regret things all the time. That's all right. Let's go ahead and claim the rest of the rewards. I've heard murmurs around the community about this reward. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure it's... Oh, what the, what, I thought it was a Mewtwo, wait, what, someone said it was a Mewtwo, it's not, what, I don't want an unknown, oh my god, wait, I thought it was going to be a Mewtwo, I, I just got Rickrolled, dude, what are you talking about, I heard a bunch of people talking about Mewtwo as the level 50 challenge, I thought this was the end of our journey, I thought this was going to be the big reward at the end of our journey, we get a freaking unknown, that's, but it's, meh. Why is it not a me? Why do I want an unknown for hitting level 50? They're everywhere. There's no shot, that's it. There's no way. Oh my God, we're not done. Oh my God, we're not done. Okay, all right. Well, I thought this was the end of our journey. It kind of is, but it kind of isn't. But it still is the end of our journey. Hatch 50 eggs, yikes. I'll take my time on that one. Catch 5,000 Pokemon, easy. Win 15 trainer battles, easy. Uh, and then we get another 20,000 dust and 10 raid passes and 10 rare candies. They do pretty good with this special research though, huh? At least for level 50. I mean, we deserve it, but it could be better. But hey, I'm, I'm down. Thank you. Let me get this straight. Is this like a multi-part special research? Like, is there going to be another one behind this? And is that where I get Mewtwo? I don't know how this works, man, but okay. That's something else we're going to work towards. I'll get this done in like a year or two because hatch 50 eggs will take me a while. I got a good idea. So because this video is going to be involving a lot of shiny Pokemon and probably a lot of shiny Pokemon that you guys haven't seen me get yet because they've kind of been hidden and all that good stuff and I'll get more to this in a second. 
I want to do a little shiny evolution that we've never done before. Because remember, the shiny dex is now a thing. And this is shiny I'm missing. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be evolving shiny Padove in Pokemon Go. Now, I don't know which one I want to evolve. Probably the three star. It's lower CP, but I mean, let's be real. I don't think we're going to be using this for meta relevant purposes, but let's go ahead and do this anyways. A brand new shiny evolution. To be honest, I don't even know what the shiny Padov family looks like. And I don't even, I don't even remember what the shiny Padov, the names, what are the names? Unpheasant? Is that the name? And then what's the one in the middle? Oh, wow. Oh, Tranquil, huh? Oh my God. Wait, that's hella cool. That might be the most underrated shiny of all time, dude. What? It's green and purple. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Excuse me, Shiny Padov family. My bad. Let me put some respect on your name. Well, let's go ahead and evolve this all the way through. And uh, does, 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 does this turn to Unpheasant? I think it does. Well, I don't even know what this is going to look like. Judging off the second evolution, it should be pretty cool, man. Oh. Oh, you know what? You know what? That is pretty cool. It looks like Noctowl. I mean, those are exactly Noctowl's colors, almost. Um, so nothing insane, nothing we haven't seen before, but that's really nice. That's actually really nice. I didn't even think that was going to be that cool, but it is. All right. I think it would have been a good idea for them to keep the green shiny in there, but that works too. But that works too. So, uh, glad we got a little new shiny evolution right there. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys got shiny Padov. And by the way, make sure to leave a like on the video because, because that's what I run on, dude. If you like JT Gilly videos, I run on likes. So keep leaving the likes and I'll keep running the videos. So let's go ahead and talk about what is probably the craziest month I've ever had in Pokemon Go. July of 2021, for some reason, was just so good to me. In the shiny department, in the hundo department, in the trade department, it was, like I said, arguably the best month I've ever had. I mean, when you see what I got in July, and I'll go through, I'll go through this fairly quickly, You'll be pretty shocked. We'll first talk hundos, then we'll get to the lucky trades that we've done in the month of July, and then we'll top it all off with all the shinies. So we're gonna go in that order moving forward. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get to it. To start off the month of July, we got one of my most wanted hundos uh, currently in Pokemon Go, which was Darmanitan, man. We got this out of a raid. I didn't even know it was the hundo until I was in the raid capture screen. My chat was telling me that 1030 was the hundo, or so I think it was 1030. Easy max out, I almost have at 50 max and this guy's an absolute beast love him i'm working on the best buddy thing too but this was a really dope hundo to start off the month and i got this on july 13th the next hundo we ended up getting was 100 percent iv nidoran love it got it from a shadow uh, team rocket leader purified it easy money no question about that the next hundo we got was the jigglypuff i believe i got this out of a research task is that how i got this yes i got it out of a research task Random hundo, I think I already have another hundo Jigglypuff, so this was an extra one, but I'll take it. I've come to appreciate almost every single hundo in the game, doesn't matter what it is. The next hundo we got was a Magnemite, that funny enough, we actually caught right there, like two, literally two steps from me, like right, you guys probably can't even see me anymore, but all the way over here. It's my hundredth hundo Magnemite, so. We got that uh, a few weeks ago. Oh yeah, then we got the Starly, and that was a cool one. This was a cool one. If you guys remember when I got this, the whole week leading up to this, for some reason, I was like, I want a Hundo Starly, I want a Hundo Starly, I want a Hundo Starly, and then I go plus a Hundo Starly. The odds of that happening, literally impossible. So this was a really dope one. Next up, we got our, oh, man. I mean, I mean, first of all, he's dead, right? So we gotta revive him. Um, but second of all, the best Pokemon on my account, Arguably, right? The best Pokemon I've ever owned, ever. 100% uh, IV Mewtwo. I wasn't gonna show any clips for these hundos, but I think let's show a little bit of the hundo Mewtwo encounter because it was pretty epic. Hold on, 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 hold on. We got 100% IV Mewtwo on our hands. This is not a drill. Boom, there we go. Another excellent right there. Mewtwo, Mewtwo, Mewtwo. One, two, three! Hundo Mewtwo! So yeah, best Pokemon ever. Let's move on. Then we got that 100% IV Oddish that I got a few weeks back and I purified it and I asked you guys to let me know what I should purify and evolve it to. And you guys told me in the comments, actually we can do this right now. You guys told me in the comments that I should evolve this guy into a Vileplume because Vileplume is bigger and better than Blossom. So I'm gonna do that. 100% IV Vileplume evolution. Some of these hundos you guys haven't seen before. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that Nidoran. 
Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but some of these hundos and shinies you guys are going to see, you got, I didn't always show off in the video, so that's why I keep these videos pretty special. Man, Vileplume does get pretty big. What does he max out at? 2893? Okay. All right. Well, still pretty solid considering it's just a freaking vile bloom, but that's nice. Okay. All right. Awesome. And the final hundo of the month, you guys have not seen. Well, if you guys have a really good eye, you have seen it, but most of you guys haven't seen this. A 100% IV feel. In my Pokemon Go best free to play tip video that I released a couple, I think it was last week. I actually purified this hundo live in that video, but I didn't mention it. But if you guys had a good eye, you guys saw that. So this is my second 100% IV wall rain. And not to say this again, but you guys know wall rain is in my top five all time. Loved wall rain so much. I don't know why. Just have a really good memories with him, I guess. Um, so this was an epic hundo. I already have a hundo wall rain that's maxed out. This is just the second one. And honestly, I don't mind maxing this one out too. So I'll probably do that as well. That's pretty much it for the hundos in July. We got eight hundos in July, and that's pretty incredible considering hundos are really hard to get. Now let's move to lucky trades. And we actually did a good amount of lucky trades in the month of July, and some of them, I mean, two of them are two of the best three lucky trades I've ever done. The lucky trade luck was there too, don't forget that. The first lucky trade we did in the month of July, and this was one of the first videos I did after my hiatus, we got a shiny Lucky Regigigas that we traded. Unfortunately, not a good one, but it was a very dope trade. I wish it turned out well, but maybe in the future I'll, I'll end up doing this again. Not a good IV shiny Regigigas, but still very cool. That's the trade we did with my buddy Connor. Next up was a shiny Lucky Raikou. We did this trade with Nick. Oh my God, the long-awaited Lucky trade. The longest Lucky trade of all time. The longest Lucky trade of all time. We did this on GoFest and it was 12, 12, 12. I waited four years. Oh, okay, sorry, I'm lying. Three years to do this lucky trade and it was the worst possible lucky trade we could have got, which is still funny. It makes for a good memory, so there was that. Then we got my second best lucky trade of all time, Shiny Lucky Dialga at a 98%. Did this trade with Connor, I remember this, and I immediately maxed him out. This is... I mean, this is a top five, top 10 Pokemon for me in my account. I mean, there's not a lot of better Pokemon in the game, to be honest, uh, at least for me, than a shiny, lucky 98% IV Dialga. You know I had to max this guy out. I don't have him 50 max just yet, because I don't know. I don't know why I don't have 50 max just yet. I think I'm just waiting a little bit, but I, I definitely will. I definitely will at some points. But that was the second best trade I've ever had actually really. And to top off the beautiful month of July, we ended up lucky trading a Raikou. Now, yes, that's another Raikou. I've lucky traded Raikou about four or five times in my life. They've all gone pretty horrible except this one. It was a 96% IV shiny lucky Raikou. This guy is one of the best electric types in the game. So, so good, 96%. And this is actually the third best lucky trade I've ever done in my whole career. So, dude, July was stacked stacked and now let's get to the biggest part maybe the most important part for some of you guys the shiny pokemon we got in the month of july my god there were so many shinies in the month of july i mean listen we had community day we had go fest there was going to be a lot of shinies but this is a pretty solid amount i'm pretty happy with our outcome and uh, i'm not going to show clips for every single one of these shinies maybe for one or two but i know this is kind of a lengthy video so i'll just kind of speed through them our first shiny that we got in the month of July was this shiny Bidoof during its official release. I got this on the first day of July back in Hawaii, and that was a really, really awesome time. So shout out to shiny Bidoof. Then we got a shiny Pidove, full odds, by the way, that we actually evolved today. Funny enough. Wow. Full circle. Then we got all of these Tepic from Tepic Community Day. That was a really epic time. And then we hatched a shiny Togepi. Did I ever show this to you? I think I mentioned this to you guys, but we hatched a shiny Togepi randomly in Hawaii on our last day there. Well, was it our last day there? Yeah, it was actually. Um, got a full odd shiny Bulbasaur. I'm lying. This was a spotlight hour shiny Bulbasaur. Oh yeah, we caught that right here as well. Oh my God, we come here a lot, do we? Um, yeah, we got a shiny Bulbasaur from spotlight hour, shiny Melton during its time. Uh, remember we got three in one box and then we got a back to back on the next box, which was absolutely insane. We got our first ever shiny Absol. This was a huge, huge one for me. You guys remember how hard I grinded for shiny Absol. 
Here are the back-to-back -back Meltons. Got a full odds Mudkip, uh, got a full odds Halo. Mewtwo was around in raids, we ended up going crazy. And then I believe these are the Go Fest shinies. Look at all these goodies right here, man. Chimeco was new, Throw was new, Alomalomalo was new, Loudred was new. Um, man, a lot of beautiful, dope shinies in here. I know I'm speeding through them, but there's a lot, dude. There's a lot of shinies in here. Some really dope ones. Tim Pole was new. Uh, Seismitoad we evolved to. We got a Lugia, our only shiny legendary during the whole raid day. Got ourselves a second Scorpy, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Alomalomala, bunch of shinies. And then Mewtwo was around like officially, officially, and we really grinded them. We got a couple of them. Uh, got a full odds Lillipup, got a Sunkern in there, got the Dialga, of course, that we traded for. Got the shiny unknown. Now the shiny unknown was an epic clip too. I'm glad we got that guy right there. Another shiny Dialga, another shiny Dialga, another shiny Dialga, and a shiny Torchic full odds that I go plus. And I don't think you guys know about this one. It's kind of random. I don't think you really needed to know about them. I know I didn't show any clips right there. I said I was probably going to, and I don't think we need to, but 89 shinies in the month of July. Nothing, nothing unheard of, but still pretty freaking cool, man. 89 shinies in one month is pretty awesome, so. There are all of the shinies we got during the awesome month of July. I mean, I just don't know if I've ever had a better month, to be honest, man. When it gets to those lucky trades, when it gets to those hundos, when it gets to all these shinies, I mean, the rare shinies. Listen, we got a hundo Mewtwo, max them out. Then we got some other hundos as well that I really enjoyed. Then we got the crazy lucky uh, 98 Dialga. Then we got the 96 Raikou. Then we got the shiny unknown that you can see right here. Look at the Scorpy. Um, just a bunch of amazing, amazing luck during that month. If the month of July doesn't deserve a like, what are we doing, man? I know I was a little late on this. It's already August, middle of August, almost the end of August. But there was a lot of stuff going on. But I got it done, dude. But I got it done. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of my month of July. What did you like most? What was your favorite memory from the crazy month that was July? And let me know in the comments down below what your guys' best month of Pokemon Go is. If you guys do have a best month, let me know what went down. I'm glad we had a good July because July is some of my favorite months, especially for Pokemon Go because it's Go Fest and all it's summer and all all that good stuff so love me some july and i'm glad we had a good one hopefully we can have an even better month of pokemon go sometime in the future hope you guys have a great rest of your day thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see your faces later deuces